So someone on my Discord asked me if I can kind of explain how I managed to grow a YouTube channel, also handle working a full-time job, and then also take care of your other responsibilities that you may have. Um, for example, I have a family, so I have other things I have to take care of, right? And I don't really have too much advice. I would say that one of the main reasons I'm able to produce as much content as I can on YouTube is because I don't plan that much. As you've seen, a lot of my videos are me just like clicking the record button on my OBS software and I literally just start coding or start talking. And then of course, after I'm done recording my 20, 30 minute video, I go through and I try to edit out some of the parts where either I clear my throat, I sneeze, I cough, just like, you know, the annoying stuff that I don't want to get to the finished video. Editing does take some time, but overall, like how do I manage to plan that out and like do my normal day job and stuff? I guess I want to mention that I've been doing coding for a long time, right? So for me to sit down and just do a live coding and talk about things, it's not like I have to sit down and like really understand, okay, like how does dependency injection work, right? If I want to make a video on dependency injection, I could just start coding and talking about it right now. I don't have to go learn about it because I already know it. Now, if I were to sit down and actually like plan it out and refine the material, I think I could probably teach it much better. But I do think that the approach that I take with my videos and just like off the cuff live teaching is much more beneficial. And it's something that you don't see that often on other YouTube channels. So that's kind of the reason why I do it. And doing that approach actually helps me be able to produce more content because it's just me like stream of conscious talking. And sometimes I say things that aren't 100% accurate, but I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? If you are a beginner, you have no idea about any of this stuff. And if I can just teach you one new thing in one of my videos, then I'm kind of achieving my goal with just helping you guys become better web developers or programmers. Now, as far as managing all that, again, like I work eight hours. So you have to work your eight hour day for your day job. And then after work, you have typically eight hours to do whatever you need to do, right? And then followed by that, you have eight hours of sleep that you typically need to do. I like the, uh, the motivational speech that Arnold Schwarzenegger gives where there's 24 hours in a day, eight hour for work, eight hour for sleep, eight hour for play. And it all boils down to like, where do you allocate that non-sleeping eight hours, right? Everyone has to work basically. And if you don't have a job, then obviously you have 16 hours to learn this stuff and to really learn how to the program and stuff. But for the most part, most people actually work and they have a job. And if they're trying to do self-taught, they're trying to become like self-taught programmers um, or do a, a boot camp, then they don't have as much time to like invest in learning and stuff. But I would just say like, look at where you're allocating your time and make sure that you're not wasting time doing things that aren't beneficial to you in the long run, especially if you're younger, because like uh, time is valuable and you lose energy as you get older, right? You don't have the energy, you don't have the, the focus, you have other responsibilities. And that eight hours of free time, it's either you sleep less so you can get more time um, or sleep faster is what Arnold Schwarzenegger said, which is pretty funny. Um, so let's say you only want to sleep six or seven hours. That gives you more time to do your self-learning or to do whatever you need to do. Um, and then also like whatever responsibilities you have. If you feel like you don't have time to do all this, you have to just kind of reevaluate, you know, the pie chart of where you're allocating your time. If you spent two hours watching Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad, then that's two hours you could have spent actually learning how to code or learning something or making a YouTube video or writing a book, doing some type of self-improvement. Same thing with like, if you spend three hours playing StarCraft 2, again, that's time that's spent. And I'm not saying it's bad to do that stuff. Like I like playing video games too. It's a good way to like relax and unwind. But if ultimately your goal is to like improve yourself and to learn a new skill, then you just need to kind of look at where you're allocating your time and make sure that every hour is being accounted for the way that you want it to be accounted for. And just try to change your life a little bit if you wanted to like, you know, for example, make a YouTube channel. So how much time do I need to actually like produce this content? Usually when um, my wife's able to watch my kids or my kids fall asleep, I just need to come upstairs and record for like 30 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes, sometimes less, like 20 or 15 minutes. For example, this video is probably going to be a short one. All I need to do is just sit down, have a, have a talk, um, kind of get my thoughts out there. And then after I'm done, I literally just go and sit down in bed next to my wife and I'll just edit my videos with my headphones on. She's usually reading her audiobook. Um, so we're like next to each other, but we're all kind of doing our own things. But overall, like it doesn't take that much effort for me to make these YouTube videos because I, again, like I said, I don't plan much about what I'm doing. I just kind of just start talking, start recording. And, uh, hopefully what I say is actually either entertaining or educational for you all to listen in on. 
hopefully something I said in this video can help keep you motivated and help you figure out a better way to manage your time if that's something that you're struggling with. That's about all I have to say. Again, go watch that motivational speech by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think it's actually like pretty good. Um, and like how he says, like we all have the same amount of time in our day. It's just a matter of like who's spending the time doing the things that actually, uh, you know, improve themselves. And if you're not big into like self improvement and actually like using your time wisely, then that's fine. Like you, you can play League of Legends or StarCraft for four hours. Honestly, I played for StarCraft for like six hours straight over the weekend. Like I'm not judging myself. It's good to do that to get an unwind from the daily grind. But anyway, yeah, give me a thumbs up or a comment or subscribe or bell icon or whatever if you enjoyed watching me talk about this little topic. If you feel like it's going to help you at all. Uh, or dislike if you don't and like always i have a discord channel if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to ask questions if you're trying to learn how to code usually we have some people who are active in answering questions sometimes we don't get to the questions but it's another place that you can potentially go to get some help if you're stuck all right have a good day and happy coding